And so when you think about Iran having nuclear weapons, you know, if you liked, if you liked Halloween 1, wait till the sequel I, reaches I know. theaters near you. Do you think that President Obama has a clear, coherent foreign policy? I think um, it's hard to say uh, from my point of view because I haven't had a chance to sit down with those guys and talk through with them. They put out a national security strategy, but like most of these documents, they're not really a strategy. Uh, that's the art form for Democrats and Republicans alike. He has a worldview. I think that's clear. And whether that worldview matches the reality of the world is a, a question to me. Scooter, final question for you. That absurd political witch hunt that you were subjected to during the Valerie Plame case. Your sentence was commuted, but you never did, in fact, get a pardon. Are you still hopeful that eventually you might get a pardon? Well, um, I, I worked 13 years, maybe 12, something like that, for the federal government on national security. In that time, I met Czechs who had had their lives stunted under communism. I met Kurds who had suffered under the atrocities of Saddam Hussein. I met American families who had lost kids overseas. I learned two things from this. One is uh, the world's not just, and the second is it doesn't do a lot of good to whine. You are a class act, Scooter Libby, and had Monica Crowley been president of the United States, you would have gotten that pardon. I look forward to that campaign, <laughs> Monica. Scooter, thank you very much, sir. Great thank to you. see you.